Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another entire house clean with me. I feel like these are so motivating. I love seeing a whole house get cleaned from top to bottom. And of course it motivates me to film it for you. So today I started out by getting my sheets in the washer. I don't really have a schedule or anything for when I wash my sheets and bedding and also my daughter's sheets and bedding. Um, it just kind of comes at random. I don't really like them to sit in the washer and dryer very long. So I try to plan to do it on days that I'm gonna be home all day and can quickly get it through and back on the beds. Another thing that I've been doing, and I mentioned this before on my channel, but I've been doing one load of laundry a day. So I get up, I put it in the washer or I'll put it in the washer before I go to bed and then I put it in the dryer whenever I get up in the morning and um, get it dry and put it all away. This day I actually did two loads because we've been traveling a lot and I just wanted to get it all caught up. So you're going to see me do another load a little later on. I got my daughter's rooms just kind of picked up and vacuumed. I only vacuum them usually about once a week whenever I do the rest of my cleaning, um, but it does feel so good to have them fresh and everything off of the floor, toys and all. We've been using Betty's bedding on my daughter's bed here. It's just easier to make the bed. If you have bunk beds, I highly recommend this. Um, you can just zip up the sides with a zipper and they have so many different styles and um, lots of different prints and colors, things that will fit whatever theme your room is. They also have bedding for larger size beds as well. And I do have a discount code for them. I will leave that in the description box. If you're new around here, I would love it if you joined my channel by hitting the subscribe button. I am a mom of three. I do all kinds of motivating content and I like to do DIY projects and just I'm on the go a lot and I really enjoy home decor, things like that. I film a lot of that stuff in my vlogs and I put out around four videos a week.
I wanted to mention that this bath mat in front of the shower is something new. I actually found it on Amazon. I think it was less than $8, but the bottom of it is kind of like a silicone, if that makes sense. So you can actually throw it in your washer, wash it, and the bottom isn't going to fall apart like a lot of other bath mats do. I thought it was a great Amazon find, and I will definitely leave the link for it in the description box. This is the tub that my daughters use. We actually don't really use the shower in the other bathroom, so I'm always having to wash it out, but it works so great with the ages that they are. I want to encourage you guys today as you're setting goals with the new year to push through and to really accomplish those goals. So my little quote or my little motto for this year is to choose the things that I want most over the things that I want now. So there's a lot of times that right now in the now moment, <laughs> I want to sit on the couch and sit on my phone and do nothing. But what I want most is that my house is clean at the end of the day, my laundry is done, and that I can go to bed and just know that I accomplish my goals for the day. So choose what you want most over what you want now. This is my desk area. I do my editing and all my other things here and it does get piled up a lot. So I'm trying to make myself, whenever I do my once a week cleaning, really clean up my desk and get it kind of organized and orderly so it doesn't get piled up. I've been working on a trade system with my daughters to eliminate so much toy mess. So our toys are all in a closet. They're not in like a toy box or anything like that. And what I have them do is I have them pick out one set of things that they want to play with or, you know, one kind of theme. So my daughter had out like some of her little vehicles and I have them generally clean up whatever they were playing with and then they can trade it for whatever they want to get next and it's been working out really well especially with their ages they're at an age where they know how to pick up their toys and it's helped cut down on so much toy mess and my husband was being such a goofball i think he comes walking through kind of funny here in a second because he knew i was filming
Okay, so we need to talk about this situation. <laughs> um, so I have been trying to clean underneath of all of my appliances. We recently moved into this house and we do rent it. And I don't think they cleaned under the appliances before we moved in. It was so horrible let's just say re-watching this i'm so happy this is clean and i know that the dirt is no longer underneath of them but it's something i'm definitely going to keep in rotation not only that but it's really not good for your appliances to have lint and things like that underneath of them because it can be a fire hazard so this is your little memo clean under your appliances sometime soon you'll feel so much better The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes The day has begun You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms You sing la 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 My God, I think I might be in love Get rid of all your sorrows These chairs were another Amazon find. They are so great. First of all, they are a great price. And second, with kids, they are the bomb to wash down. You don't have to worry about scratching them. I haven't been able to scratch them yet. I think they have a pretty hard enamel on them. Plus, they wipe off pretty easily with them being metal. Today, it feels like it's been forever laughing all day. So normally on my morning and evening routine, dishes get done. Um, but the days that I clean the entire house, I usually leave it until I hit the kitchen. So this day I didn't empty the dishwasher in the morning like I normally do. And so here it was with the big pile from the day. So normally I actually empty it in the morning and then throughout the day I fill it. If I have to run it twice, I do. I'm really big on using my dishwasher. It just saves me a lot of time and it's just something that I really dislike doing is washing dishes. So normally the pile isn't like this, but like I said, on these days, this is how I do it.
Does anyone else like to burn candles while they clean? Oh, it's just my favorite thing. And sometimes, this might sound really funny, but as a motivator, I will wait to light the candle until I'm done cleaning. I don't know, maybe I'm not the only one. <laughs> and another thing about this day that was so great is it was nice and warm outside, so we actually had the windows open. I guess that's one of the perks of living in North Carolina. If I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. Thanks so much for watching today, you guys. I hope this gave you a ton of motivation and I will see you guys in my next video. Wait.